Welcome back to Satisfactory. We just completed phase two of Project Assembly. We're now on phase three. We're chugging along. And um, our next milestone is oil processing, which will open up a lot more, uh, a lot more possibilities here. Plastics, rubber. Uh, so in order to get oil processing, we need motors and encased industrial beams. Is that it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for the encased industrial beams, we need more concrete. Uh, but the problem here is my power consumption is uh, pretty close to maxing out. If we go any higher, we're going to start consuming biofuel. We might already be consuming... Yeah, I think we're consuming biofuel a little bit from time to time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up some very basic quick automation for the motors and encased industrial beams and then I'm just gonna let that run for a while let it uh, build up and while that works while I'm making that um, I'll go off and uh, upgrade my coal setup Get some more power. So let's um, let's add another concrete constructor here. That's backwards. Merger. No, I don't want a merger. Whoops. Splitter. There we go. There we go. Concrete. And I want a merger here. And that's going to take 90 limestone per minute. Uh, this is only a normal node. There we go. Up that clock speed. And uh, I need to upgrade that belt uh, now the encased industrial beams I think I'm going to use the alternate recipe so we'll be using steel pipes I guess I could just make it up here. Oh, wait a minute. I'm already taking the cement down here. <clears throat> down here. What am I taking the cement for? What's going on here? can't remember what I was doing. Oh, I'm already doing the encased industrial beams here. Okay. Alright, well, it's probably a good thing I added that extra constructor anyway. 
Oh, good. That's that's good. I already have it. Well, okay. Uh, now I just need to make the motors. And I know I've got the stators right, right here. And I think that's used for motors. Motor and rotor. Where are the stators going? Here, okay. Oh, can I split it? Oh, it's not going to let me. Too sharp of a turn. Okay, now I'm going to take the stators, bring them around, select motors now that's going to use 10 per minute uh, there's no way I can afford that let's uh, slow that down quite a bit how many am I making anyway 5 per minute yeah and I need some of them for uh, for the automated wiring although Not really. Not anymore. But yeah, I don't want to use them all. Wait. How many is it? Five per minute? Okay. So we'll keep this at four per minute. That's fine. Now the rotors... I'm... I know I'm not producing enough rotors. Where are the rotors? There they are. There we go. No clipping at all. No clipping at all. Okay, that's going to be a slow process, but it will work. And that'll just uh, allow me to stockpile some items as I go out and expand my power. Uh, iron rebar. 
Let me just uh, make some more rebar here. Okay, also, I think I finished um, researching a hard drive. Let's see if we can pick a new recipe. Uh, quick wire stator. Interesting. Steel. We can use steel to make steel rods. Uh, that is a resource saver, I think. Yeah, that's a, a net gain in uh, resources, get more uh, rods for what we spend. Um, this is a good one too, but I don't have a lot of quick wire. I've got that one little setup, but it's not really enough for this. Ooh, that's a tough one. They're both good. I'm going to pick the quick wire stator. I'm sure I can use that later. I've got more hard drives. It's fine. Uh, okay. Now, let's see. Let me do some math. Um... Coal. Ah, here we go. One coal plant requires 45 cubic meters of water uh, per second. One pipe can transport. <clears throat> Excuse me. Jeez. One pipe can transport up to 300. Three hundred divided by forty-five, uh, six. So one pipe can support about six um, plants, and I think with coal, just regular coal, a coal plant supports. Um, a coal plant can consume 35 per second. That'd be 210 coal for six. Coal plants. Let's just say we're going to add six coal generators. And about three water extractors. Two miners. Oh, wait, hold on a minute. Miners. Oh, the Mark II miners cost. Uh, whoops. They cost two um, portable miners. Okay. So we're going to put that on our to do list there. Let's grab some copper sheet. Uh, more cable. Yes. Copper sheet. Where is... Co 
upper sheet. Uh, not over there. It's got to be around here somewhere. There it is. I don't know where anything is. Um, we'll grab two stacks. Everything else I've got plenty of. Why... Why do I need encased industrial beams? Oh, for the Mark II miners. Oh, right. I have never made a Mark II miner. That's a new thing. Okay. Got it. Okay, I think I'm ready. Uh, the last thing I need, I need to make sure I've got uh, plenty of concrete and iron plates for foundations. Okay, let's bring more reinforced iron plates as well. From we'll need those for um, or uh, conveyor belts. There we go, beautiful. Let's launch ourselves across the base. I don't know if that saved time, but uh, it was fun. Now, there's a lot of coal over here, so I think it is a good spot. Or our coal power setup. And with the Mark II miners. Uh, let's turn on our flashlight here. Uh, the Mark II miners will be able to get much more coal out of the nodes that are there. Ah. Run away, doggy. You're too slow. Oh boy, this is going to be a, a big project because I think I think I'm going to have to tear all this down. All of it. Okay, yeah, I've got uh, two coal nodes right here, and then a few more just right up there. So, we're good on coal. Uh, that's pure. Is this one pure? That one's normal. That's fine. Oh, scared me. Okay, what I want to do... Um, are these not... Okay, they're working, yeah. I remembered I hooked them up. Oh, they're not getting coal all the time at a constant rate. Okay, that's... 
Well, that's a problem, but we'll we'll take care of that when we um, fix our setup here. Uh, okay, so basically, I'm gonna raise all of these up so we can get more water underneath. We'll have the water extractors. Oh man, this is gonna be a nightmare. We'll use the one meter. How tall do I have to get? Or how high do I have to get before it doesn't interfere? With the water extractors, maybe about here. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that means I'm going to have to pump the water up. Now I'm going to need to fit... Let's see, how many coal plants do I have now? One, two, three, four, five, six. There, and... Three there, nine... Okay. Just making... Oh. I should blow these up. Yeah, let me just um, take care of these. This might be a multi-episode process here. I want it high enough so that it doesn't interfere with anything. It looks like we'll, we'll have enough room. I think I'll be okay. If it's that high. Basically, we're going to have rows of coal plants like this. Six at a time. There's six there. I can fit like six in one row. And then probably another row of six. So 12 going along here. And then we'll move over one row and have uh, six more. Yeah, we can do them six at a time. That's a good number. Alright, my inventory is completely full. Oh, these are not aligned properly. When I make the foundations, I like to have, I like them all to be aligned the same. And that's with the straight, you see the straight line going through. I like that going north to south. These are aligned uh, east to west. If you mix and match them, it looks a little odd. Okay, these are okay. I'll delete that.
Oh, well, that doesn't do me any good. I, I built a ramp right through the... the rock. I can't get through there. What am I thinking? I'm an insane person. Perfectly aligned. Okay, this is going to clip. That's fine, it's only temporary. Yeah, I think we have enough room for about two two rows going north to south. And we can go uh, east to west pretty far. Maybe 12 or 18 coal plants. Of course, I could just raise everything above these rocks here, but if I want to go even further and make more, then I can just um, put them on a level above or something. Alright, I, I gotta make a storage box here. Let's get rid of a lot of stuff that I don't need to be hanging on to right now. goes. My biofuel generator should uh, should be kicking in right about now. Hopefully the fuel in them will keep things running for a while. That's fine. I can start the process here and we'll just build six of these. Huh. 
Huh, I'm just thinking. Yeah, there's a bunch of rock there. That's going to complicate things if I move this way. Oh. It was inevitable. It's fine. We'll try to get things running as soon as possible. Uh, let's do 12 along here. Missing rotor. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three more. Now, because uh, one pipe can only serve six generators, there we go. Uh, we're going to need to bring two pipes up for all of this. I'll bring like one pipe up, split it off to six generators, and then another pipe will come up. They'll be uh, completely separate, completely separate pipe networks. All right, that should be 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. Now, I'll leave the other three over there running for now. We'll, tr we'll get these 12 running first. Now... Let's see. Let's get rid of all of this. Okay, are these even still connected to the network? Uh, yeah, they are. Okay. Let's see. I need a... Mark 2... Well, let's see. Um, let's go to the calculator. Well, let me make sure that these do actually consume 35.
Oh, 15 per minute. 45 water and 15. Okay. Six times fifteen, that's uh, only ninety. Twelve, obviously, one eighty. Ninety, okay. Um, so, just to make things easy, yeah, we can have... Every six will be separated uh, by its own conveyor belt system and piping system. Let me just try a few things, see how it looks. If we have the... Uh, I don't know if this will work. If we have the conveyor belt coming up here, then we'll do something like... Now let me... Splitter. So I move it a little bit closer. There. Okay, and then I think we need the lift. Is that gonna work? Okay, it's not con and it's not actually connected though, I think. Is that actually connected to the splitter? It might be. I have to try it. I'm j I just want to see if it's actually connected. Sometimes you build them close like that and they're not connected and you gotta kinda get a belt in there between somehow. But uh, let's see what happens here. Go faster. It's connected. Okay. Uh, that'll work then. That's uh, Mark Two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So 
So that one belt coming up will feed six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we'll do the same thing here, basically. Oh, God, where did I put it? Put it right there, right? And we'll have the Mark II. Okay, that should be hooked up. And uh, we'll just use Mark II's all the way down. Hang on a minute. What? What? What did I do here? Put that in the wrong spot. That was weird. I noticed there was a large gap there and I couldn't figure out why. Okay. Oops. Okay, that's uh that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Why do we have an extra one? One, two, three, four, five, six. Son of a bitch. Can't count. There we go. This is a slow and painful process, but on the bright side, uh, after all of this, it's not going to be, it's not going to need to be reworked again. We won't have to do any more refactoring. This is just it. This is how it is. If we want more control, um, coal plants, we just add more above or to the side or whatever. We're not going to have to tear this down ever. I think. Okay, now what about the pipes? We do have pipeline floor holes. Uh, let's see. I could run the pipes underneath. That might look cooler. Let's just try... See what this looks like. Okay. There it is. Is that really where I put it? Right at the edge there? Oh, 
Uh -huh. Okay, that's the best one. Um, all right, let's uh, let's move that over a little bit. I don't like it right at the edge. Yeah. That looks okay. Um, that's not going to work, obviously, because of the... Splitters. I think it's better if I have them above... Like I did before. If I put it there, will it interfere with the conveyor belts? No, that's, uh... Yeah, I can put it there without interfering with the conveyor belts, but that's going to be really close. Is that too sharp? Yeah. Nope. That works. Noodle. Let me just try that here. Wow, that's going to be really close. Uh, that might work. Alright, let's just uh, try this here. We'll add one more, and then we'll go to the bottom and then see... If we're going to do it this way, let's see how... Oh, come on. There we go. We'll see how we're going to make it work. At the bottom. Um, now I'm going to have to run the pipe kind of close to the ceiling here. Because what I don't want to do is run the water pipes down here and then uh, split the pipes up for each one. Because then I'll have to add pumps for each one. Uh, each time it splits off. I don't want to do that. I want one pump. So, sorry if this uh, is kind of dull, not a lot going on in this episode, but, you know, that's how it is. This is going to be like 80% of the game going forward. <laughs> okay. You can probably go up a little more. Yeah, this is good. Okay. Let me get rid of this. It's right in the middle. No, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. This might work. Now let's build a junction. Is this going to be too close? can't have it snap. That's going to be a problem. It doesn't snap to the the location of the um, 
the pipe through the ceiling there. So if I don't get the the position just right, it's going to it's going to try to do some weird curving. Let's um let's try it. No, that works. Make sure I don't fall off here. Yeah, it works pretty good. I think I can get rid of that now. Get rid of that. Alright, let's keep going. Let's um let's make the uh floor holes here. I think this is fine. This is what I want. This will work pretty good. It looks okay. If I if I was gonna redo this, I would move the splitters back a little bit so that I could um bring these pipes out a bit more maybe. I don't know, but this looks pretty good too. Is that six? Let me just count. Make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we're good. All right. Well, I'm gonna have to end the episode here. But um, I'm gonna. I think I'll finish this up off camera. Uh oh. There we go. Because uh, it's just going to be more of the same. And then I'll... Um, by the time we come back, I should be ready to... Hook it up, hopefully. Or just about ready. It's going to take a bit more work, but... I think I know what I want to do now. I know how to do it. So, uh... I think we're in good shape. This is going to work. And uh, it's going to be pretty and organized and beautiful.